what it is, what's good, <laughs> you know, it's your girl Q. And today I'm about to tell y'all story time. The time that I literally, honestly, sincerely got in a four-wheeler accident that wasn't my fault and almost died. This is not clickbait. This happened. I have scars to prove. I'll insert y'all's little evidence in the video. Clickbait be so crazy. Clickbait be like you go to Target and the cashier said your card balance. Oh my gosh, the time I went to Target and I literally got shot. <laughs> by debt you got shot by debt is what you meant let me give y'all a little you know backstory this is my friend in the entire story we'll name her you know chrysanthemum from jump we did not mess with each other don't come in my space i can come in yours if i want to the reason why we didn't mess with each other y'all gonna be like really quillen really yes really i was an all-star cheerleader you know she made fun of my cheer gym and i was like nigga are you evil who raised you wolves crows the devil himself? Why are you making fun of my gym? We're prestigious. No boost. My gym was the greatest of Texas. I went to cheer athletics. But she made fun of my gym and I was like, put my period at the end of the day. I did not like her because she was rude. Fast forward to the time, the era of the story time. That was my ride or die. We were cool. Thinking back on it, I don't know why because there was red flags all throughout that friendship. Actually the beginning of that friendship when she made me cry. This was like 6th, 7th grade, pre-pubescent era. My mom was in the medical field. One of her higher ups was like, we got a ranch if y'all trying to come. My mom was like, indeed we are. We are trying to roll. My mom was like, ranch time, ranch time. We going to the ranch, get a friend. So I said, sis, come on. We packed up our belongings and began our travels. About, I don't know, time, maybe an hour away from where I live. It wasn't that far away, but it wasn't close. So I was like, pack your bags, we're going on a trip. Indeed, she did pack her bags. So we get to the ranch. This ranch was beautiful. It said money, it said luxury, it said expensive. It said acreage, 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 square feet of acreage, flowers, animals, house, big. Excited I was. The ranch also had a supply of four wheelers, golf carts, segways, Jeeps. This nigga was rich. We went into the house. It was like home improvement, move the truck. They're like, move that truck. When we walked into the house, I was like, Oasis, Nirvana. So we went into that mug, right? It had food, the pantries were stacked. I was like, I might as well live here for my whole life. We got our rooms, rooms on 10th. We got clean, we took our shower from that car ride. I was like, I'm trying to ride these four wheelers. I don't know if you are, but I'm trying to ride these four wheelers. She's like, wait, I'm trying to ride these four wheelers. So I was like, let's go ride these four wheelers. My mom was like, no, I don't think that's a good idea because y'all don't know what y'all are doing and I care for your safety. My dad was like, hey, let him go. Let him be free. You know what we did? Nicely got onto our steeds, aka our four wheelers, and drove into the sunset. We was driving. Y'all remember that part in Hannah Montana when Milo was in there like, Nick, I don't wanna be here, but I'm about to go put my stuff away. I know you not about to take me back to Hollywood, cause you whack. <laughs> Billy Ray. And Miley was just, you know, on her horse. The song was playing and she was just feeling herself. This was me after we left the house on our four wheelers, on the acreage, looking at the money. Travis is fine, so before we even got on the four-wheelers, I was like, nigga, listen very well. I was like, my eyes are small. This dust is thick. Don't get in front of me, because I won't be able to see. It's not a competition. Just don't get in front of me, please. Y'all will soon find out. Chrysanthemum disregarded my life. We was three minutes away from going back to the ranch house. Three minutes. Our journey was coming to a close, and our destination was soon. And she said, let me drive in front of Quinlan. Even though her eyes are squinty enough, I didn't have on sunglasses. I know some people are gonna be like, mm, you should have on sunglasses because you knew that that was an issue prior. Leave the video, go get in a four wheeler accident and tell your own story, incorporate that part if you want to. This is my video. She got in front of me, that's one in my eyes. As I predicted, cause I'm freaking real mind the science guy or something. I cannot see y'all. I'm on a for one four wheeler, a whole entire truck, transformer, Optimus Prime type thing. I was on that mug, I said help. I did like this, I was like yeah! This hand right here was the gas. So I said, let me not only freak out, but let me hit that gas. What was I about to fall into, yo? Barbed wire. When I said, a boop, when I said, a skirt, all I know was my life flashed before my eyes. 
keep in mind my gas was at full my gas was at a hundred i went right into that barbed wire and i said stuck mannequin still stale hurt pain i probably should have died i was stuck in that mug plastered and this full chrysanthemum she threw herself off of the four-wheeler remember these aren't our four-wheelers this isn't our ranch these $1,400 four-wheelers, we don't own. If they get broke, we pay for. Oh, Angelina Jolie, Saul, had to throw herself off of the four-wheeler, causing it to roll, aka causing the four-wheeler damage that we had to pay for. I'm not, I'm not salty. I'm just trying to tell you. She did her Michael Bay film audition or whatever and rolled up to me like, what's wrong? When I fell off that four-wheeler, I screamed. There was no time for weeping, sobbing, crying, pouting, complaining, dying. I screamed. I was sitting there like, nigga, I'm stuck is what's wrong. That's, what do you, what do you mean what's wrong? But I couldn't say that. I was like, help, help me get out of these barbs in this wire. Cause this is barbed wire if you can see that I just flew into. Because you got in front of me and got dust in my eye, I'm now in this barbed wire. That's what's wrong, help. This was an out of body experience because truly, honestly, if I was in my body at this moment, I probably would have died. So I was looking at my body, examining blood scars. Oh, ouch. Can barely feel a little titch of pain because my body is still in shock from the near death experience. I was literally disintegrating at the seams. I was checking my limbs. I really like my limbs. I love my limbs. I looked at my finger and this mug was dangling. She was dangling. And I said, go to the house now. And she was like, oh, I got off the four wheeler the most dumbest way in the book for no reason. Because apparently I'm trying to act or something and be in an action film. Cause that's the only way that would make sense that whole throwing off situation. Anyways, she was like, yeah, I don't know if that one will work. I said, nigga, we gotta make it work because I'm about to die. I'm about to bleed out. We flipped over the four wheeler. Remember, I was punctured to death. I was a corpse pushing over a four-wheeler helping her. And we got in that mug. I said, zoom, zoom. So we zoomed to the house. I told my mom what happened. I came in that house and I was like, help, help, help. My mom said, sit down, calm down, sit down, take a seat. I couldn't even be mad at my mom for her lack of emotion at that point. I said, okay, let me just sit down while I'm bleeding. I was destroyed emotionally, physically, in shambles because I saw the light. I'm kidding, <laughs> I didn't see no light, but it was very, very scary. My mom said, I think we should go to the hospital to get some stitches. Now best believe I wasn't about to go to no hospital. I'd rather have a scar than some stitches. The thing is I understand stitches prevent scars, but I'm not letting someone sew me. This is not Coraline boo, no. So I said, leave me, give me a band-aid. That's all I need and a hug, please. I nicely proceeded to ignore chrysanthemum cause nigga almost killed me and didn't even apologize. I don't care if you're with my family at the moment. I don't care if you didn't have Wi-Fi. Make a fire, go read a book. After I got out of the ICU, AKA my bed, homeboy who owned the ranch pulled up. He was this big Caucasian man. And he was like, what happened? And I was like, oh my gosh, we're about to die because we broke this man's stuff. I don't think we have money. Hell. But he understood. He was like, okay, so I don't need y'all writing none of my stuff no more. I was like, okay, like I'm not about to say yes, sir, because like, no, but like, okay, I really do deeply apologize because it's not my fault. I know Chris Anthemum's not about to say nothing, so sorry, like I'm so sorry. And he said, um, y'all's total is $2,800. Me pulling out my empty pockets where I gotta go one, give me some scratch offs. Can you pay for a $1 scratch off? No, but my parents paid for it. Do I wanna be Chrysanthemum's friend at this moment? No, R rather not. Hopefully she's doing well. My scars have healed, cause it's been a couple years. Our pockets have, you know, been replenished from the coin we lost from Chrysanthemum. But there's no hard feelings. I wish you all the best. Do y'all see the scar? That's proof, that's your evidence. This ain't no clickbait, boo.